Welcome to week four of the Shadowhawker self-service vending machine of education. This is the assessment is due real damn soon now. If you're thinking, oh, I'll just fast forward the episode and I uh, won't fill out the pieces of paper and I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll catch up later. Yeah, that probably won't go well for you because this has stuff with the assignment because we're like that. Anyway, it's value co-creation, it's product, it's about if your project is going to create value through convenience, how are you convenient? Go on, be convenient. It's also time to get hyped. There is a drop off in participation rates and participation levels after week four. And we know, we know that happens. Participation and engagement downloadable content challenge number two. It's time to get hype. The hype challenge is for you to create a piece of content that encourages your classmates to go to class. And you're the shadow team, so you know what it is about being self-driven, self-motivated. Build the hype, create it, generate it, put that content, post it in the forum thread. There are rules and explanations up in the forum. Get hype, get them excited. Points are on offer, scores may be awarded, will be awarded actually. All right, week four, content drift. Probably a bit of it, because there'll be a few questions around in the live event. Uh, so you're actually probably going to get a better run through all the exercises than the live event, but hey, we'll see how it goes. All right, we're very close. We're at the start of the marketing mix, and I want to highlight that value and product is the heartbeat of the marketing mix. Value co-creation is an applied toolkit, and you know this because you're doing these slide sets. So as always, the slido's up, the handouts are in play, Make certain you got your Word doc handy. And here's the other thing, is right now, it's about the documentation time. You've got an assignment coming in real soon. It's worth 20 points, so you're taking it seriously anyway, and I've got uh, faith in your professionalism. But very specifically, one of the things that you want to do is you want to make certain that your metrics that you are using, your goals, your game plan, the way in which you are structuring up your semester to deliver that project, Make certain those are measurable. Make certain those are attainable. Make certain that you are setting something you can do so when you hit that reflection point, at the end, you're able to go and say, this is what I did, this is how it went. And also, big lesson we learned from the last two years, don't forget your other courses. If you're gonna map me out something amazing that's basically going to require you to go to a full-time job running that project, well, you got three other courses on. Make certain you're not cutting them out, make certain that critical milestone marker points, due dates for those other courses factor into your thinking. Check your self-service internship. Keep up the Padlet and the Waddle. Start thinking about your Get Hype Challenge. And uh, thank you for those who have already dived in and started contributing the course logos. But don't forget, those, those points are still out there for the taking. So, next 10 weeks. After this week, you're gonna put in the assignment and then you get started on the project. You get started on the project before you get the assignment back. That's how it works. That's how it goes. You're pitching, developing, operating, and doing. The four things that are on the screen here is that in the next 10 weeks, you're going to score. You're going to score points for the essay. You're going to score points for the ET and the taper. There's also the opportunity to score points in the forums, Padlet, and other NUs. There's the opportunity to put things into practice. And when we say practice, we mean both rehearsal and also doing to run your project. So for everything we do next, when we ask you about price or distribution, or I talk about how can you use video, we're talking about how could you put this into effect in your project. Challenges, they're active, they're live. Go score some bonus points. Let's get back into the exercise one. It's gonna be eight minutes on the clock and the question of the day, Using your Word document, I'd like you to tell me about your project. Document it. And your advice here is that it goes from being theory to being applied. Get your stopwatch out. It's going to be eight minutes on the clock. Set your timer. 
you are laying out the specifications. You're going for the first part here, right at the top. What's your project? What's it? What is it? What does it do? Target audiences, URLs. Fill that out. All right, start the timer and stop the video. Let's go time. Welcome back, friends. It is a beautiful day at the internet, and you have produced for me a bit of documentation. Now, this project documentation is going to be super useful because what I'm also going to encourage you to do across the course is reiterate this project and product. At various points, you're going to be, how should I say, you're going to explain it in promotion, you're going to rewrite it more than a few times between now and the end of semester. Check out the forums, there should be a thread out there for people to put up their project pictures. If someone's doing something very similar to what you have come up with, congratulations, you've got a friend. You should go talk to them about partnerships and collaborations, cross-promotion and working together across the project to support one another. If you look around the projects list and there's nothing in common with what you're doing, Congratulations, you found something new. If lots of people are doing things quite similar to what you're proposing, wonderful. You have a ready formed alliance group of like-minded individuals and you should team up to support each other. All right, exercise number two, here's what we're gonna do. Value proposition continues. You've gone and talked about what it's from a production side, a producer side, this is the value that you want to create. The second task now is what is the value you want to co-create through the platform you're going to use? What are you going to do with it? Then you go off and actually do, you make stuff. Look at your platform and this is now the platform that you want to be writing about for your assignment. If you haven't decided on your platform at this point in time, you might want to run this exercise a few times. You might want to give yourself a few iterations through to say, all right, well, there's TikTok, Instagram, Depop, Facebook pages, a Facebook profile, a LinkedIn account, maybe YouTube, maybe a Vimo, maybe I could uh, set up a Twitch and go pro gamer. Maybe I could set up a Twitch with a group of friends and we could run stream D&D games. Uh, or I could have a Twitch where I was a fortune teller or I did a live chat or I read tarot cards. All right, there are options galore. Many different platforms. Now, what I want you to do in this exercise, I want you to, specifically the platform you want to use, and there's a set of questions that I want you to be able to answer. How are you going to use the platform to create value for yourself? Not for your audience, but for you. Now, just to give you a quick example about what I mean here, YouTube, which is the host for these videos. So I'm gonna briefly talk about, walk you through this because it's a complex area you gotta get right. What's the platform? The platform for me and the Shadow Hawker videos is YouTube. How do I fit the audience profile? No, I don't. I am not what YouTube has in mind. They don't have higher education lecturers distributing, uh, you, privately distributing videos to classes. They don't have that as one of their priority target markets. The feature of the platform I'm using is the delayed release private video. URL fund. And how this creates value for me is that I can effectively and efficiently schedule releases of video content, a very easy way of producing structured, strata, slow release. That's the feature set. Now, what it does for you is completely different as my audience, but what do you, as the user of the platform, get as a value proposition by using that platform to pursue your project? So with that in mind, start the timer and pause the video. All right, welcome back friends. It's a big one. It's a real mind shift to go, I have a project, the project creates value for an audience. I'm using a platform, I'm going to create value for myself through that platform. So again, there's a bit of a conversation that you can have with others around. So how are you using this platform? What is it that the platform does that's really valuable for you? And this is where co-creation is super useful is that you can find different ways to use the same platform. Now, third exercise up, so six minutes on the clock. What's the goal? What is the goal that you want to achieve with this project? How will you measure that? Now I am going to suggest, and I've got the forum check in here, and if you want to, you can check the forum to see what other people are doing. I want people to be posting up their goals, what is it they wanna to do, to see if there's ways in which as a collective unit of 
Participants in 2032, we can support and partner with each other to see more goals attained and start the timer, pause the tape, crack open the Word document and uh, see you in a couple of moments. All right, here we go. This is this is the trainer precursor warm up for getting the assignment due. Documentation, obviously it's in the Word doc, but also think about it from the perspective of now you've got a goal and you've got a metric of how you're gonna measure it, how do you want to break that up into steps, into ways in which you can achieve it? And this is where I want to talk to you because I talked at the live class for this. Metrics and goals. There's a couple of bits of advice. The first is smart, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, timetable. That is a qualitative judgment statement. You look at a goal and go, well, does it meet the smart requirement? Is the goal specific? Can I tell whether I've achieved will I what will I use to know that I have achieved it? So attainable, can it be done? And realistic, do I have the resources to fully implement? And when's it gonna get done by? So I want to talk a little bit about um, on specific. I have something very basic back here, and that is a list of the content I need to create for the course. It is specific. There are 12 videos, it's specific, it's measurable. Once the content is created, I tick the box and I know I've done it. Is it attainable? Yes, I've been there, done that before. Realistic, I probably should give myself a few more days, but I've got a track record of attainment. What it's missing is, this has no timetable. This is not a smart goal. So it falls down because I don't know when. I haven't specified this will be done by that. So use smart to assess whether you've got something. Don't try and break it down to go a goal, specific, measured, attained, realistic. The next thing, metrics and measures. Qualitative and quantitative measures. I am getting you to do quite a number of qualitative assessments of yourself throughout this course. But also, there are quantitative measures. Straight up, I can tell you now, on here, I've got 12 things that need to be done per column. I have seven columns. I have seven times 12 worth of activities I need to undertake. So 84 items later, I can tick a box and say, done. But I can also go and say, 42 items, I'm halfway. What counts as success is what you get. You can specify an input. The last thing I'm gonna ask you to do, you're tasked with a challenge, and that is go out into the forums and put up your product pitch. So there's a little uh, template. I am, I am using, and I'm going to use this feature to create value, and I will measure that. Put that into the forum, but also see what other people are doing and see if you've got potential alliances, partnerships, and crossover. In the first couple of years of running this, we didn't have as much opportunity to pair off, team up, and work together. Work together, pair up, team up, collaborate. Your assignments are individual, but your projects can be group. Work together, back each other, support each other, and let's see what we can get done and what we can create. So as usual, if you need me, and boy, howdy do I think that people are gonna need me this week. Uh, there's probably extended consultation times because the assignment is due and does worry people. Uh, emails are always open, and worst case scenario, connect me across the socials. And with that, my friends, best of skill and good hunting on concluding the assignment for submission.